Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris from PC Addicts and this video is going to be a short one on how to uh, make a USB flash drive bootable so that way we can boot up and install, you know, Windows 7 or in, in my case it's going to be um, Hyper-V servers. So um, I have the ISO here on my desktop and you can see I have my USB flash drive plugged in and there's some stuff in it but we're going to we're going to remove all that. Now, of course, the first step we need to do is mount this ISO but I don't, I mean, with Windows 7 and Windows 8, you can just double click it and it'll mount it automatically for us, but that's too easy. Let's use PowerShell for as much as we can here. It's good to know, it's good to learn. With Windows 8 and PowerShell version three, there's some new commandlets. For instance, this one's gonna be mount disk image. Tab completion will finish it for us. One of the parameters is image path. So basically we're just gonna, we just wanna mount that ISO. So uh, let's point to that path. There's a few different ways you can do that. You can drag and drop that in there or, or not. But what I'm going to do is just, um, let's go see uh, user, it's cold and my fingers are frozen. Chris desktop and it starts with nine. So tab completion. So there we go. Hit enter and you can see now it's mounted. So if we open that, you can see all the files that's in there. So now that we have that mounted, what we need to do is prepare this USB flash drive here. So I'm going to go ahead and just clear the screen to keep it clean. Um, first thing we need to do is make sure that you're running this as administrator. You know, you can right click in your PowerShell um, EXE and run as, just make sure you're running it as administrator. So command let here we're going to be using is git disk. Hit enter. It's, it may take a few seconds here. Okay, so you can see I have my SSD. Oop, my SSD is right here. And then if, here's my data traveler. So this is the one we want. So this is the number right here we need to make sure we use So that for this next command. So this next one, what we're gonna do is do, we wanna clear that disk. So we're gonna do clear disk uh, number, and then we're gonna number it, what is it, number one? Yep, and then remove data because there's data on it. So hit enter, it's just confirming, do you wanna do all this? I can hit yes, or I can hit A for yes to all. I'm gonna hit A, and there it goes. And you can see it cleared the disk. There's no more volume or partition, disk, label, or anything like that. Next, we need to create a new partition on this thing. New partition. We're going to do disk number. Oops. And we're still working with that same disk number, which is one. Then we're going to use max size. And then we're going to do is active equals true. Hit enter. All right. So now that that's done, what we need to do is format that volume. So format, oops, file system, we want NTFS, drive letter um, is D. So now we're working with the drive letter. So you can see it's right here. So we'll hit enter. It's confirming yes to all, yep. Okay, so all right, that's all set up. You can see it's NTFS. Um, all right, so now let's do this. We want to do bot sect.exe slash nt60d because we're working with D. All right, that just made it bootable. So now all we need to do is copy this ISO onto there. Now that it's mounted, or basically you could just highlight all these and copy them, but of course we're going to use PowerShell. So what we want to do here is do copy item recurse and what do we want to do is it it's from e to d so uh, we're going to do e star to d let that copy over it shows it's done let's refresh this yep got all our files in there so we should be good um now all we got to do is dismount this but we can dismount that We'll do it this way. You can do it through PowerShell by dismount disk image, but uh, we're just gonna eject that one. And let's eject this one too. Okay, so now, now you're ready to uh, plug this into your computer. Make sure you're booting up off that USB flash drive and uh, if your BIOS supports it. And oh my God, it's so much quicker trying to uh, install an OS. So um, it'd be hard to go back if I had to, to use a DVD. So anyways, um, there's other easier ways out there. There's utility, third party utilities you can use, but I think it's a good idea to know how to use what's built in already. Um, in case you're out at a job site somewhere and you don't have, you know, your third party tools with you, at least you can, you can do some of this stuff if you had to. But, uh, anyways, alright guys, talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.